grabs her lips. <laughs> it just flicks her back. Flicks her back, she falls. <laughs> then he flicks. <laughs> you, you flex. Wow, what an alpha. Jordan's message is sponsored by Squarespace. Guys, you're done. I don't know why. I said, Josh, I want to know what's around on the board. He said, you're done. I don't know if he's referring to me or to you or to somebody else. So let's figure it out. Let's get to the messages. Don't forget to mention about the t-shirts. Guys, oh my gosh, how could I forget our bread and butter? Josh, what is the spiel? Join for five bucks and we'll send you a free shirt. That's right, five bucks across the board. Five bucks, we will send you a free t-shirt. And they're great. It's actually kind of blocking the lighting right now. So hopefully the lighting over there is okay. But that's what we've got for sale. That, that's not even all of it. That's not all of it. There's extra boxes in the garage. Five bucks and you get a free shirt. That doesn't make sense. Five bucks, you get a free shirt, but you know what I mean. Let's get to the messages. Dear Jordan and Josh, about seven months ago, I met this girl that I matched with on an app. Over the course of about a month, we went on several dates. Our dates didn't consist of much other than just hanging out and talking until the last time we went out. I drove her home and we held hands all the way to her house. When we got there, she leaned in to kiss me, but I freaked out and pulled away. I really did want to kiss her. I was just nervous and not expecting it. She jokingly brushed it off and said, you're done. What does that mean? A few days later, she texted me and said, we're not compatible and we should go our separate ways. I haven't seen her since. At first I was okay with it, but now I've been missing her and want her back. I'm thinking about telling her how I feel. Should I do it? Is it too late? Should I have kissed her? Look. She's done, okay? She doesn't know what she's missing out on. The one guy in her life who she just wants to make out with and he's like, look, I will wait. <laughs> and she's in her first, the first words that come out of her app filled mouth was, We're, you're done. <laughs> How disrespectful. That's it. I mean, Josh, that is the state of this country. <laughs> What, what an amazing man. And he, he, you know, he's just nervous. He goes, oh. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> <laughs> you know? With a test, and hey, you failed. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. Um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, maybe she does have a point, Josh, because if, if of all things, you know, maybe his reaction was really overt, like, whoa, whoa. You know, easy killer. Yeah, like if, if it's like that, maybe, maybe it wasn't necessarily that you you wanted to wait. Maybe it was like, wait, I, this was a side of him I didn't know existed, and she. Sorry, I'm not that kind of guy. So either way, it's too late. One way, it's like, okay, um, she is being completely absurd, and the other way. Uh, she had this kind of epiphany and she kind of realized, you know, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> this as in you. <laughs> <laughs> You're done, she said. So, I don't know, like, per honestly, I, I don't know the answer. I wasn't there if I witnessed this, which, God, I wish I had. If I did witness this, I would be able to tell you one way or the other, but either way, the outcome is the same. It's too late. So, I would just personally just move on and just swipe more through the app. Just hope that you find somebody else. If a girl tries to make a move on him again, how should he react? If, look, if he wants to wait, that's great, fine. I mean, he should, probably. Okay, but I don't know if maybe his reaction, maybe he should have a planned reaction instead of it being so like, whoa, 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 whoa. And like, he's like crossing his eyes, like what's going on? He's like dodging yeah. Neo in the Matrix. Yeah. Dodge the bullets. Yeah, you don't need to dodge the bullets. You need to just be like Neo in the Matrix. You're not dodging the bullets. You see them, you put your hand out. The bullets stop, <laughs> they fall, he you, like, you flex. He, he, like, <laughs> he, he grabs her lips. Grabs her lips. <laughs> it just flicks her back. Flicks her back, she falls. <laughs> then he flicks. <laughs> you, you flex. Wow, what an alpha. Sick of <laughs> Yeah, at that point, you don't need anybody. If you can actually do that, you don't need anybody. <laughs> I can have this whenever I want. I don't need it now. <laughs> yeah, that is a alpha move. <laughs> let's get to the next. Well, let's get to the ad. 
Now guys, as you may know, we recently relaunched our supporter community. The tricky part was figuring out just how to market the fact that we were transitioning from Patreon over to our own website for our community. So we created a page on our website where people could go to sign up for updates. And then when the launch day came, the URL converted to a page with all the details for the big day. It went so smoothly. It all looked great. And we want to say a sincere thank you to Squarespace for making it all just so easy. Our main website, blimeycow.com, is built with Squarespace, so creating these types of pages is super easy and takes just minutes. Whatever you're working on, you need your own space on the web, and the beginning of the year is a fantastic time to finally just sit down and say, it's time to finally do this. Whether it's a blog, portfolio, web store, YouTube channel, or whatever else you want to display or promote, Squarespace has what you need. All the templates look great, and you can customize them to do whatever you want. You can create an online store selling physical, digital, or service products easily. Plus, you can create custom merch with print on demand. It's insane. They even handle shipping for you. So what do you want to build? I want you to listen to me, okay? You can do it right now with Squarespace. It's time to finally build that website you've been putting off. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to our link squarespace.com slash cow because there you're going to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash cow. Now. Let's get back to the messages. Hey, Josh and Jordan, I'm getting married next year in Sir. That's like, look, that looks French. S E apostrophe R E. Sir. Sir. <laughs> on the same, and Sir on the same page about most details. The problem is our parents, specifically my future mother in law, has apparently been thinking about the wedding since the day we started dating. She keeps coming to us with demands, not requests, regarding the wedding, and so far none of them align with our own desires for the day. We want it to be small and simple. We'd love to keep total cost under $1,500. That's the kind of wedding to have. Meanwhile, she's imagining some grand occasion and is getting carried away with everything she thinks we need in order to enjoy our wedding day. We know she'll be upset when we tell her that we're not going to be using all of her ideas and she'll probably take it very personally. My question is, how do we get the wedding we want while still trying to honor and show respect to our parents? My fiance and I are pretty independent people, so the challenge isn't being pushed around. It's letting other people have much input on the planning at all. How do we find a balance and not create unnecessary tension with the in-laws, but also enjoy our wedding? Who is paying for this? Okay, because I don't give a D how much anybody, if you're not paying for it, why do, Why is this $1,500 like this magic number? Right? $1, well, 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 it, it's, the, it's, the, it's the girl's parents who pay, right? Right. Okay, so then his in-laws are like, you need this and this no, and this. I, I think it, Did I, I miss I, something? I think it's the guy that wrote the question. Am I no, wrong? it says M. It's a girl. I'm getting married, my fiance. She's keep coming. Yeah, this is the girl. The uh, girl. So it's the girl. It's the uh, girl. Yeah, it's the. That's why she's having a problem. It, it, it's the guy is the one who wrote the question. No, it's a girl who wrote the question. Her name is M. I've never met a guy named M. <laughs> oh, M as in E M. E M. Oh, okay. This is a bit sticky because look, if your family is paying for this, I don't want any input from her at all. If she wants to start, you know, dishing out some serious dough, yeah. knock herself out, do everything. But if not, like she just needs to sit down, shut up and listen. Yeah, we'd love to do this. Are you paying for it? Yeah, look, that's that's the alpha move right there. I think that's what you have to do. You say, yeah, that sounds great. Are you, are, are you gonna be uh, helping with the with the finances? Gra she will- Grab her by the lips. Yeah, grab her by the lips, flick her, her back. back. There's, no, I mean, that's the only thing that you can do to, to shut this person up. Insinuate that she will be paying if she wants her ideas and she will be quiet. Now, if she <laughs> wants to pay for it, then great. But this is just disrespectful, Josh. Okay, that she is giving, throwing out all these ideas when we all well know that it's the, 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 the girl's parents who pay for all this stuff. Like, why are you throwing out these ideas of thousands of dollars? Like, is this a test? What are, are they, are they going to pay? Yeah. Uh, how much money do they have? How much do they think that that, that you're worth, son. Worth. Yeah. How much do they think that you're worth, son? 
maybe you know this this is just a whole can of worms you know I, I feel like this is a test but you know what you need to flip the question and the test back on her and you need to dominate her with words you need to have little quips okay don't 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 make a don't make a scene you know I'm amazed that I can't do this in, in real life I sometimes I can I'm not that skilled uh, I, that's why I'm on messages so I can just vent. But in real life, when people are disrespecting me, Josh, I can't come up with these little quips to, to say back to them, to just to 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 show them, hey, I, I know what you're doing, but I'm bigger than you to really even yeah. to, but I'm letting you know that you are a terrible person. Yeah. I can't do that. I just take it and walk away. Just like, and then I just tell it to Sarah. Yeah. I just say bleep that, later. bleep them. Yeah, but you know, but in the Christian way. <laughs> the, the bleep them is like the ultimate Christian way. You know, we'll say a little. No, that's actually what you say. Bleep them. Bleep them is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Uh, you know, but you, you can't say bleep them. You need to come up with a way. And I think the way is to say, yes, uh, that's an amazing idea. I would love to do that. Um, will you be helping to pay for that? A direct question. Lookers. Well, I'm not supposed to be the one paying. Well then, stop with the ideas. It's a great idea. I think I think that's what she's got to do. Yeah, I agree. I, I, anytime people are gonna spend a bunch of money on a wedding, it's like if anybody's gonna spend a bunch of money on this wedding, just give them the money. Yeah. Let them have as cheap a wedding as they want, and give them the rest of the money you were planning on paying. If, if it's so. Exactly. It's so important. To spend so much money. Yeah. Great well, advice. Yeah. Great advice. You're done. That goes for a lot of things. That goes for the girl in the first message. That goes for the the, the in-laws in the second message. That goes for you guys. You're done watching messages. <laughs> it goes, it doesn't go for me though, because I'm never done. I'm always on when it comes to messages. I'm always, I'm always gaining experience in the outside world so I can package it up for you so that you can be done. But just know, just like our Heavenly Father, He's never done. He's always looking out for you. I'm always looking out for you. Thanks, Dad. Don't be messy. And leave good messages.